Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my Pet Cemetery movie review. Uh, this movie was directed by Kevin Colts. Colt? Colch? I don't know how you say it. Uh, Den and Dennis Widmer. I do not know anything about these guys. I know that one of them is directing The Tick. That's all I know. Jason Clark is in this, and so is Amy S Simons. And uh, my, to me, the standout performance is John Lithgow. I've been a fan of John Lithgow. I think the first time I remember seeing him is one of those amazing stories, kind of short films, I think, that Spielberg, if I'm not mistaken, was doing sometime in the early 90s or, or late 80s. Uh, he did this one about, like, a doll maker named Liebermacher, or it might have been a shoemaker. I think it was a doll maker or something, and he had a matching doll. Then I saw him in Cliffhanger. It was on a TV show. But anyways, he's, he's always spectacular in anything that he's in, and he's the standout performance, in my opinion. Uh, this is... Another attempt at, at making Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. I never saw the original one. Um, I really, and I think a lot of this is because of the success of it. So this is kind of riding the coattails of that. But this was nowhere near as good as it. If I had to rate this movie on the Star Star Sky, I'd give it a 52, which is barely, barely above average. So that's about a C that I would give it. Um, it was it was okay, but I just kind of found myself a little bit disinterested. I actually went to the bathroom, and like I, I don't know, when it, when he got food, it, it was like I was gone for a couple minutes. So there's this character that kept popping back. I had no idea who he was. I, I, if I had to describe this movie in one word, it's creepy. There's a lot of creepy stuff in there. Um, I didn't read the book. I've never read a Stephen King book because I I just felt like they were too long. I heard they're, they're like way too wordy. And they can be slow. This is what I heard. I don't know for myself. I've never, I've never read a book of his. Um, I loved it. This movie, um, eh, it's, 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 it's an average film. If you're a Stephen King fan, you'll probably, eh, you know what? If you're a Stephen King fan, I heard some people had problems with it because they changed a lot of things. So I, I, I ne I've never seen any of those other ones. So I'm going into this. All I know is there's a cemetery that brings people back or brings living things back from the dead you know i kind of wonder what happens if you put a dead plant in there does the plant get all evil does the fish turn into a piranha they start with this cat and uh it's um there's some kind of devastating stuff with like child deaths and steven likes to put integrate kids into his, a lot of his stories and um you know that's fine but this movie i don't think is as good without john lithgow um the little girl was actually really good too. Uh, Jade Lohonks is her name, um, and I kept I kept getting confused with the name. These kids, I, I feel like they a lot of the characters had such strange names. Like like I think the cat is named Catch, and like one and the or Church. Uh, yeah, I think the cat was called Church, and the boy was called Gage. And then there was, there was Church Gage. Like, I kept forgetting who was the kid and who was the boy. Um, it seemed... It, it seemed kind of slow at first, and then it just takes off, like, super fast, and things start happening. I don't know. Here's kind of a spoiler. Um, I don't know that I buy a child... really being a threat to a grown adult... Uh, do they have demon strength? That was never really established. But there, there are a lot of jump scares in this, but the way that it ended, it wasn't the type of scare that follows me home. And to me, a good horror movie, if it's really trying to be pure horror rather than more mainline horror like it, it, it I want it to follow me home. And I'm like creeped out in my car. Like the way um, Paranormal Activity did. This movie didn't do that. It ended in a way that I was like, eh, okay, whatever. Just blast them in the face. I, I don't know. Are they zombies now? I, I don't know what I don't know what's happening. Anyways, um, 52 is the score I give it. And I'm calling it creepy. So slow, barely above average. It's a pretty average movie. I, I, I'm never going to see it again. I don't need to see it again. Um, what did you guys think? Did you guys see it? Do you want to see it? Uh... If you're a Stephen King fan, eh, you know what? I don't know that I would call myself a fan of his because uh, I haven't read any of his stuff. So I can hardly, you know, I can't really call myself that. But uh, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, leave me comments below, like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.